It was a day like any other. I was reading up on the red-bellied macaw and enjoying a refreshing Arnold Palmer when I was suddenly interrupted. My cat is missing. I'm sorry. Please help me. I took one look into those big eyes and knew that if I played my cards right, this would be one bird I wouldn't be viewing from afar. She fed me some line about how much chompers also like bird watching, so I headed straight to the park. You, you know that cat? Chompers? I know that cat. I met him at the racetrack last week. He lost a ton of money. Oh, so you've seen him. Have you seen him recently? No, I haven't seen him since then. Uh, but he hangs out with that skirt, uh, Annabelle, on the Lower East Side. Tell him that Johnny needs his money back. Okay, okay. Tell him. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, thanks Johnny. It was right about then that I realized this was no house cat. He'd been around the block, from the sound of it, a couple times. Told you I haven't seen him in months. Your face says different. Look, I'm trying to help him out. He's in a lot of trouble. I need to get him back to a real family. Okay, I'm not gonna take this crap from you. I don't have much, but at least I have my man. So you tell your boss that this pretty little birdie doesn't sing. Talking to Annabelle, I thought to myself, how many lives have this cat ruined? First Veronica, Johnny Roundhouse the Gambler, now Annabelle. It wasn't long until my life was touched by the paws of fate too. Ethan St. John, president of the Hillcrest Bird Viewing Alliance, lives alone, drinks Arnold's Palmer, heavy on the iced tea, and asks way too many questions. Do you know what killed the cat? I knew the answer, but I wasn't going to give that mug the satisfaction. All right. What do you want from me? You're in way over your head, little birdie. And that girlfriend of yours, she's not to be trusted. Veronica, she's an angel. Are you sure? Everyone around here seems to disappear. And I don't need her losing another boyfriend unless I get my money. Get him, boys. You're lying to me. I need answers. I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. I got dragged off by the mob today. I'm just a bird watcher. I'm not built for this. No more pussyfooting around. I want answers. We just wanted some scratch to make life a little sweeter, you know? I didn't think he was going to go off and pull a crazy stunt like this. No. OK, OK. Chomps was working as a mule. Cocaine. Makes runs across town, gives a sweet little purr. No one suspects a thing. Yeah, until he takes the drugs for himself, hits the bottle, and shacks up with Annabelle. I thought I owned him. We had something, you know? Never use a cat as a mule. Don't you think I know that? Ethan, please. You have to find him. You don't know what they're capable of. I need an Arnold Palmer. Oh, I know you said he was interested in birds, but I didn't know he was a full-on birder. Yeah, he took that. He's an avid collector. He's got scrapbooks full of that bird crap. This is really rare. This is a red-bellied macaw. 
There's only one place in the city that he could have seen this. Then it hit me like a kilo of catnip. I know where he is. He's at the guest house at the Hillcrest Aviary. Chompers. Get away from the path. Veronica? I can't do this anymore, Chomps. I'm sick of your lies, your gambling, and how could you leave me for Annabelle? I thought you loved me. Always oh, so cool, huh, Chomps? This was it. I love you! This was my moment to take charge. Veronica, it doesn't have to be like this. If you do this, you'll be no better than him. It was always gonna be like this. Me? Ow. Sorry, Ethan St. John. I need a cat, and you're just a kitten. Perhaps in another life. Oh, Chomps. I can't stay mad at you. <laughs> Let's go.